All right, let's chat about icebreakers. Now, icebreakers are massively important now, particularly after your 10th thousands Zoom meeting for the day, uh, you tend to get a little bit tired. Now, if we want people to really connect in our meetings, we wanna use some icebreakers to get things happening. We've done a little list of our top five icebreakers and we thought we'd share them with you. Now, the first one here is called the scavenger hunt. This is one where you basically, you go off and you do a quick little run around the house and you try and find a whole bunch of items and then bring them back to your desk. This works well if you have it up on the gallery view so everyone can see, yeah, everyone takes off and comes back and then they show off their items. And whoever has the most items wins. Now, obviously it doesn't matter if anyone wins or not irrelevant. Uh, the whole purpose of this is to basically get people up out of their seats, get them moving around, get some, particularly if they've just jumped from one meeting to the next, you know how this tends to happen these days as everyone finishes one meeting. We used to walk to the next meeting room, now we go click, click, right? And so no one's getting up out of their seats. This one gets them out of their seats, right? Really important. You as the facilitator need to have a list of items you want people to go and grab. Now, if you know your audience, you can probably tailor it a bit. We've got a list of things that we, we tend to use. They can just be random stuff. Some of the things we used is a book with over 300 words, something to do with a movie, your most out there piece of clothing, something that rhymes with sat a coffee cup with an image or a quote on it, a kitchen appliance, or something magnetic. Totally random, right? That's the whole point, it's meant to be random. Now another variation of that is if you're using Jamboard or something like that, you can have everyone come up with a bunch of online images and find images online that meet a certain criteria and get them to throw that onto their Jamboard or whatever. If you're after more detail on any of these, we've got them all listed on our website, click on the link in the description. Oh, don't forget to subscribe below if you're interested in business agility and want to know more. Now the next one's an oldie but a goodie, but would you rather? You're basically asking people to uh, pick one or the other. And this is a conversation starter. This just gets everyone connected and you throw around the questions. Now the purpose of this one is to make deeper connections. This is about connecting more of the people you're working with or the people you're having a workshop with. The only thing you need to prep for this one is again a list. You don't need uh, anything physical, but you're just basically going to ask everyone, would they rather do this or that? And you get them to hold up a one if they want option one or two if they hold option two. The interesting bit here is just basically everyone comparing what they would choose over the other. Now a couple of examples of this would be, uh, would you rather have winter or summer for the rest of your life? Obviously these are completely hypothetical and the more outrageous they are, the better. Would you rather command water or wind? Obviously you can also ramp it up into the silliest questions you could possibly ask. All right, number three is pass the word. This is one that we actually use in a physical environment as well and we've just translated this into it online and basically you're going to make up a story or make up a sentence or make up whatever uh, as an entire collaborative group, one word at a time. Now the way this worked in a physical world was you would have a ball and you'd hold it in your hand and you'd say one word and you'd throw it to another person and that person would catch it and say the next word. Uh, or you'd go around in a circle and do one word stories. Uh, in a virtual world that's a little bit harder so instead we have to pass the ball to someone. So we have to say uh, the word and then pass it to someone else and they say the next word. The whole idea is we're trying to come up with a story, have some continuity and it always ends up in everyone laughing. Alternatively, you can also just do it on a particular subject and you can say uh, one word and you're throwing it around and you say animals, right? And then everyone has to come up with an animal or one word. Uh, it could be agile terms, could be countries, could be anything. It's basically you're just getting everyone to think quick and go, ah! You know, and of course they're getting ready for it to be thrown to them and so on. The whole point here again is just to kind of get everyone connected, but you're also just throwing it around get everyone out of work world and just into a little bit of an imaginary world for a short period of time uh, just to break it up and get everyone connected again. Oh, by the way, as I go through these, don't forget we have virtual facilitation courses available uh, that teach this stuff and much, much more. This is just a little taste of what we do in the courses. So if you're interested, please check out the website for more. Plus also anything around business agility. If you wanna know more, please subscribe. Next one here is called uh, My Items, Pass the Mic. Uh, now this was one that I use all the time when we're doing our virtual facilitator training or any of our training that we offer, uh, but it's great for any groups where they're new, they don't know each other and you wanna get them connected. Hi. The way this one works is really simple as you say to everyone, okay, I'll give you one minute, have a look around you, 
Find something that is close to you and nearby to you that represents who you are. Give everyone a bit of an insight into the person that you are. And I want you to then introduce yourself, say your name, what you do, and then introduce your item and tell us a little bit about it for about a minute, right? Hi, my name is Verm. I'm a business agility coach. Uh, my item is a GoPro. I never go on holidays without this, and uh, this is my one of my prized possessions. I love it to death. I'm gonna pass the mic to Jeff. And at the end of that, you then pass the mic to the next person. Now this does a couple of things. One, it gets everyone connected. Everyone gets to know everyone's name. Uh, you're introducing yourself. You're giving something a little bit personal, so it's interesting. Uh, and you're also introducing the etiquette of pass the mic from one person to the next. So in a virtual world, you know, it's really frustrating because there's that little bit of delay when people are talking. They often end up talking over the top of each other. Now, pass the mic is a really good way for everyone to stop talking over the top of each other. So when someone's chatting and they, and they can put their hands up uh, and then they might go, I'll pass the mic to Joe. Right, so that's just a way to not only get a little bit of a connection up front, get everyone to know their names, have a bit of an icebreaker, but it's also introducing uh, an etiquette that you're going to use uh, throughout the rest of the meeting on the workshop. Last but not least, number five is Time Machine. This is a little bit of an imaginative one. You're basically just asking everyone, again, it might be a pass the mic situation where you're basically getting everyone to talk one at a time and you're, you could use it as an introduction. Uh, but they're basically going to say, if you had a time machine, where would you go? Would you go into the future? Would you go into the past? Is there a particular time would, that you would go to? Uh, November, November 5th, 1955, uh, for example. <laughs> I think that's, I've watched that movie so many times, it's embedded into my head. But it's a, a great little way of just getting everyone chatting. Again, the whole point of any of these icebreakers is to literally break them out of their cycle. If you've been bouncing from one meeting to the next all day, uh, you want to break that cycle. You want to make sure that the meeting that you are facilitating is going to be the most interesting and most fun meeting they have uh, the entire day. I hope that helped. Uh, that's just a tiny little piece of the virtual facilitation courses that we run. So please check out our website if you're interested in hearing a lot more. We run those courses virtually, surprisingly. Uh, so <laughs> check out our website if you're interested in any of those courses or any of the other courses we run around business agility. And of course, if you need any help around business agility with coaching or even full transformations, uh, please check out our website for more information. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.